This is the Wii's 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This battery is half the price of the Dakota lithium and it does have low temperature charging protection. Something that the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour does not have. This battery did pass the 0.2C capacity test at 10.28 amp hours. Let's take a look at the Amazon listing for this battery. So here we have the listing for the 10 amp hour Wii's battery. Now they have several different batteries here. Uh, we're only concerned with the 10 amp hour right now. This does have a 4.6 out of five star rating. So very good rating. One thing that did jump out at me is this 10 year warranty. Most brand name American battery companies have very long warranties on their batteries. It's pretty unusual to find a budget priced battery to have such a long warranty. Let's hop back over to the workbench and test out the short circuit protection. Now, if you see my videos before, you know, I believe this is the most important function of a BMS is to provide short circuit protection. Reason being in these batteries, there's so much energy and we need these batteries to turn themselves off in case of a short circuit that's going to prevent fires. So to test that, hook a jumper to the negative hook and same jumper. I'm going to hook it to the positive. I'm going to run it through this amp meter and we don't want to see current right here. Ooh. That's exactly what we want to see. It's okay if it sparks a little bit, but we don't want to see any current going through this wire. Well, I think it's time to avoid the warranty on this guy. If you are new here, that's where we crack this open and take a look at the build quality inside this battery. Here we go. Hey, if you like these videos, like what I'm doing, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. This thing was a big pain in the butt to get into, but here we go. First look. Wii's 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So it looks like we probably have 16 AWG wires soldered and then they glued them or put caulk on them. All right. So this is the little battery pack that's in there. Let's see what it looks like inside. So what we have here are 26 800 cells. Now a few things right off the bat that I do not like about this build. I like to see cells in cell holders and separated. I don't like to see uh, cells touching each other. I also really do not like that these series cells are touching each other. Uh, this pack is just held together with a little bit of tape. Let's look at this BMS. So they did put some silicone on their balancing terminal here and that's going to keep that from jostling loose and pulling out so i do like that i really don't like the balance leads crisscrossing each other and laying on top laying on in the battery this this wire right here this wire right here is actually right in between the batteries i don't like that at all that's uh that's pretty sloppy this here is your temperature probe, and that was tucked in between cells there. Let's see if this is your hot, your high temperature discharge protection. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook this tester up to the battery. And as you can see, we have 12.9 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to start discharging this battery, and we're discharging at 2.5 zero seven amps now we're going to take this temperature probe here we're going to put some heat on it to see if 
that disconnects our battery. This is the high temperature cutoff. Look at that. It cut the battery off to prevent. Oh, and it just kicked right back on after it cooled off. So good test there. So this battery did pass all of our tests. My biggest problem with it is the build quality. I don't like that these balance leads are not isolated from the cells. I don't like that they crisscross each other. I don't like that they're not taped down. I do not like that the cells touch each other. That's especially important with the series cells. Uh, sloppy build. It's not, I mean, you can see how, how that move, this pack can move. And the problem with that is if this pack is jostled around, you know, you're going to wear the insulation on these batteries, on the on these balance leads, on the batteries, shrink wrap of the batteries. Now it did pass all of our other tests. For the money, I mean $50 for this this pack is a really good price. And I've seen some a lot more expensive packs, name brand batteries, that has similar build quality. So I am going to list this battery on my recommended battery page but that's not because of build quality that's because at this price it passed all the safety it has all the safety features we're looking for it's just uh not very well built thanks for watching guys if you get something out of this video make sure to hit that like button hit subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one thanks